Thank you. Thank you very much. Sri Ram Jambalani. Four Mr. minutes. <coughs> Mr. Chairperson, sir. Four minutes. Sir, first of all, I wish to make a strong protest against this four minutes theory. All persons who have spoken have decided in a private agreement not to oppose this bill. I am the only person in this house who is opposing the bill and I must get all the time that all these members have taken. <laughs> and sir, I at least request that I am the lone person in this country who has been fighting for black money for the last 10 years all alone. No help from any quarter. And it is time that this house sat and heard me for a while. If you insist on this four minutes rule, I think you are making a joke of the proceedings of this house and I will walk out. Take the sense of the house. <coughs> Sir, it's very unfortunate the Honorable Member is challenging the decision of the Chair. It's, it's very unfortunate. Okay. Now please speak. Your joke, or, see, that is expense. Making a joke of this house is expense. Sir, I am sorry. I... No, please. No, uh, be, see, sir, Dram Jadwalani, my problem is, see, uh, my problem is, you are categorized in the Adesh category. For Adesh category, five members are to sir, speak. Sir, the whole party has told you that I am also speaking for them. No, that is a different matter, Chair. But see, it is a matter which you must take cognizance of. No, no, on. I know that. But for Chair, everybody is, see. Uh, and sir, I... No, please. No, no, you don't guide me. <coughs> you need not guide me. I know what to do. Don't guide me. I know what to do. No, no, yes. I don't need your advice for that. Now, Ranjit, I have to explain to him. He's a very senior, honorable member. If he has raised a poor, pertinent point, I have to explain to him. Rajmanth uh, Malaniji, you are a very senior, learned member, you are a uh, lawyer. But my problem is, time is allo allo sir, according, according to the party. You are categorized in Adesh. Total time sir, for Adesh is 15 minutes. No party. That's I'm, what I am saying. I am an expelled member uh, uh, of the party. Uh, that's what I am saying. Therefore, as per rule, you can get only 4 minutes. Take 1 or 2 minutes more. Now you sir, start. I am sorry. Now you I start. I require at least 20 minutes. I am if you give me 20 minutes, I, I will am speak, to otherwise I will walk out. That's all. Now you please speak. Speak. Start kar diye. Aye. You exhausted your time and advising me. What is this kind of thing? Sir. Yes, yes. You start now. Every start now. Start every now, please. poor country of the world is worried about the disaster which every country has suffered as a result of black money. And the United Nations of all the organizations in the world decided from 2000 to break these laws of bank secrecy which are preventing the discovery of black money. And the United Nations started work on it in the year 2000 and I have been carefully watching the movement in the United Nations as to how this black money is to be brought back. After four years of deliberation, the United Nations evolved a convention, United Nations Convention Against Corruption. The main object of this convention was to defeat the, what the banks called in tax havens the customer confidentiality laws. The whole convention has been passed with that object that the banks which have been providing protection to these rascals and these decoys from all over the world, they should now be robbed of that protection. The United Nations passed its convention in 2004. We did not make, give any assistance in the bringing about of this convention. Nor did some poor countries, because those countries were also ruled by governments, 
which did not want black money to be brought back because my friends are right that it is not as if only politicians are involved there are a large number of people in every society who are involved in the generation of black money and the holding of black money sir with this background of the united nations convention the germans took the first lead they wanted to break the swiss bank secrecy laws and the german government paid 475 million dollars bribe to an employee of the lichtenstein bank and managed to get 1400 names of international thugs i call them international thugs because they have they have stolen money from the poor people of all those nations and and put that money in those banks sir sir the 1400 names were examined by the swiss bankers association the swiss bankers association reported that amongst the 1400 names the majority of the names are indians i want to ask I want to ask those who are today ruling the country and those who have ruled the country for the last 20 50 years what did you do when you came to know of this most disgraceful fact that the majority of persons who have stolen money and in that swiss bank of lichtenstein alone sir nobody went from here nobody and though the government of india at least signed that convention in 2005 2005 under the united nations regulations a convention does not become binding merely by signature you have to put in a document called the document of ratification we did not put the document of ratification till late in the year 2011 that under circumstances which i will point out how it happened sir the germans then made a public announcement through sir i forget the name i said i will thrust it was some kind of a name the german government officially made an announcement that we have got the names of these people from all over the world any government which wants to have those names is free to ask for those names we will give the names without cost without condition not one person from india whether the ruling party then or the ruling party now took the trouble of going to the germans but ram jethmalani went there sir i was told that there is no demand from india and sir they said i told the germans i said india is a democracy you don't have to look merely to the ruling government there is an opposition in every country you have duties to the opposition in the country and you have to give the names sir the german said yes mr jetman you are right you are right in your argument we owe our duty and international duty to the opposition parties in the countries and you go back and please only tell your opposition people who are fighting the At, at that time sir almost the government and the elections were almost coming sir i came back to this country sent a sent a confirming letter to the germans that you have made this promise and to my people to the party to which i belong i wrote them one two line letter that yes mr german chancellor you have made this promise to mr jet bulani mr jet bulani is acting on behalf of the people of india please give us this information sir i have asked political leaders in this party and i am ashamed to say that they did not sign the two dollar line letter and give it to me so that i should be able to give to the germans sir therefore i make no difference between any section of this house nobody has supported me that is why i went to the court in 2009 uh, why did i go to the 2009 why did i go to the court because i found that nobody was willing even to accept this german offer that we are willing to give you don't apply under any treaty 
don't apply under the UN Convention. We have got these names, we are willing to share it. And sir, I must tell you, I must tell you that the election results in this country were generated in the manner in which the election results came. They came because mainly a, time, time. a promise was, sir, please, for God's sake, listen for God's sake. No, no, no. This time is over. Your time is over. Now please conclude. Again. Please conclude. Sir. Please conclude. The, the promises were made to the people. Now those promises are being ridiculed. Ridiculed. Yes, our leaders did make a statement that money will be brought back and shared and the, will be put into the bank accounts of the poor people of this country because at least it was realized that this money belongs to the poor people and it must be shared with them. Sir? Now you sir, conclude. Please conclude. Sir, Please. sir, let me now tell you that though during the course, sir, what, what does it cost if you sit for another 15, 20 minutes? What does no, it cost? No, no, we have to... Sir, it's a two no, pause in the matter. Before 5.30 we have to... to no, no, no. It is already decided before 5.30 we have to close it. Sir, please explain and this. He has only... He has only four minutes. That you should know. Why did not you sacrifice your time? There are Ramesh. Your party could have sacrificed time for him. How can yes. I know? I have to go by rules. Okay. Try to conclude, please. Try to conclude, please. Oh. लोकसभा भी जाना है और सभी माननीय सदस्यों के साथ सहमति बनी कि साढ़े पांच बजे तक हम इसे खत्म करेंगे इंक्लूडिंग द रिप्लाई ऑफ दी ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर फाइव फिफ्टी एंड रिप्लाई भी और डिसाइड है लगातार बोलना है ठीक है आप दो दिन सेशन बढ़ा करके हम पूरा इनको दो दिन दीजिए बोलन I, now I please conclude. Now let me tell you why I oppose the bill. I but oppose oh. the bill for the simple reason that an imperative clause of this bill should have been that all the monies which are stashed in foreign banks and in respect of which no disclosure has been made so far shall by operation of Indian law waste in the government of India. That is a familiar provision to make. It has been made in other countries. It was made even when the Bhopal tragedy took Okay, you could have moved an amendment like that. Sir, huh? I have okay. drafted the bill. Now you can go, please. I have drafted the bill. I sent it to the government as far back as in now, please. And okay. that bill was wholly, wholly dropped. Okay, please. Sir, I must you tell you. You made your point. Please, I now must you... tell you now. Now please conclude. Sir, kindly take a little bit what no, please. four minutes now. No, please. Sir, How can I you allow you alone? Now kindly understand. Understand, sir, what happened. What has happened is that the leader of the political party now, the president of the BJP, has no, no, no personal allegation. Gone and no gone. personal allegation. Sir, no personal allegation. Expense. Listen. No personal allegation. That, see, Ram Gopalani, please. That, that gave me suspense. Ram, see, Mr. Ram Gopalani, please. From last Mr. Ram, no, please, Mr. Ram Gopalani, no, please. You cannot see. You cannot. Uh, there was an allegation against a person when you sir, say can, the I political can't leader is clear. So that is expense. But, but listen, see, everybody is given four minutes in that category. You have now taken ten minutes. Now but, I can't allow this. But please, please stop. Understand. What is he going to reply please stop. to? Because I, I have to. Supported. No, please stop. I request you, please stop. All right. That is enough. Please stop. I think no. Sir. Please stop. Shockingly. No, take your seat. Sir, you, you no, please. 
you no, absolutely. The you, you, you see, you know rule. Mr. Raj, you know rules are equal Please for everybody. Another see, speaker. See, Please you, speaker you, left. Please. you, be, you believe in the equality of law. No, no, no. You are one. No, the Now, Mr. Ram Jaitmalani, you are one who, you are who, one who believes in the equality of law. Rules are equal for everybody. So how can I allow you like this? No, please stop. No, you please stop. Please stop. Otherwise, I'll have to say nothing will go on record. I will. No, please. Please stop. Rules are equal for everybody. Please stop. I cannot allow you much more time. Please. Please. Please, please. Expense. Expense, Gordi. No, please. He has been expelled from the party. No, he has said openly he has been expelled from my party. And now, don't allow this debate to become a personal vilification. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that I, have expense, expense. I have spent all those remarks. Personal all personal remarks, personal remarks, personal remarks, personal remarks, personal remarks I have spent. It's unacceptable, of course. No, please stop. No, no, please stop. Please, Ram. Ram Jasmalani, please, I request you, please. Please obey the chair. You made your point. Please obey the chair. No, I am I am requesting you, please. I'll have to say nothing goes on record. Don't make me say that. Don't make me say that. You sit down. Please. Don't make personal allegation. Why do you make personal allegation? This is not for that. Sir, please call next speaker. Please call next speaker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, that's all. Now take your seat. Now take your seat. Nothing more will go on record. Nothing, now take your seat. Nothing more will go on record. Nothing more will go on record. Now take your seat. Okay, you are taken 10 minutes. Nothing will go on record. Nothing is going on record.